BSA A65s. I told you all that I had a couple here on the go and um, while I'm waiting for the valves and guides to come back for this one to hopefully get that finished I've been up the uh, road to the other side of Lampeter today and picked up the timing side case from the engine from the complete machine that I've got here which came just to sort of have its ignition timing checked and uh, carburetors balanced and look where we ended up with it. The other crankcase half is due to be brought back home from the welders tomorrow so I'm in a position to make a bit of progress with this. The only thing I'm up against here is sadly we've got a new timing side bush which has been um, machined to perfectly match the crank which is being reground on its um, timing side journal and on the big end journals. There's a bit of a story with this um, this bush. But basically the guy who did the work for me had it fitted in situ and then reamed it to suit in, in situ. But the only downside he reckons is because he did that some swarf particles may have gone in through the oil holes and into the um, passageways and so on and he said he wouldn't feel entirely happy unless this was pressed out and everything checked and cleaned um, rather than just risking blowing through it with an airline or something so um, looks like I'm going to be pressing that out making sure everything's clean and refitting it again it is not a cheap nasty imitation copy it is not a factory original VP23 or whatever it is I think they're called I think that's right but it's something which certainly wouldn't give me any cause for concern because it's actually a small end bush from a Ford 5000 tractor engine and I'm pretty sure that anything that can keep a piston of one of those tractors under control for I think they used to run for over 5000 hours without any major overhauls quite comfortably that uh, gives me peace of mind that I'm sure that this will be up to the job of supporting this end of the crankshaft on the BSA but next up I think I'm probably gonna have to get that out and just make sure everything's clean put it back and then we can look at starting to put the second one or is it the first one of the two that are here at the same time back together I heated the time inside crankcase up with the gas torch, I got it very hot and that made it very easy to drive this time inside bush assembly out again to check and make sure that there's no swarf in there as John and Aaron su suggested so I can get it all the oilways now and blow air through them and flush them through whatever I like and make sure that there's nothing trapped in the, uh, the channel behind the bush there which I think is what he was more concerned about than anything anyone remember this this is the one that dropped right into the engine much to my horror after I fitted a new bush to it and then found out that it was uh, useless well it's not entirely useless because I used it as it's a drop through fit as a sort of drift mandrel if you like I put that on top of that end of the bush assembly we're going to use and then use this to drive it out and a couple of light taps from my threat my friend Thor there had it out no problem but heating up the crankcases is all well and good but um, you can't just expect to heat up this area and necessarily get something nice and loose like a bearing or whatever to uh, drop in or fall out or drive out or whatever although the heat expands the hole it can only do that if you expand the whole thing because just making the hole hot doesn't sort of allow it to grow as much as if you heat the whole casing so I've got the whole casing untouchable just about and um, that made the job of getting that out much easier so I'm going to clean everything up now and then I'll be putting it back together and um, 
we can start rebuilding the engine. I've had news from the welders. The other crankcase is probably going to be back here tomorrow, the drive side one. Um, so at last we're turning around this one. Although I'll be on the lookout for a decent set of barrels very soon, I should imagine. I took the oil pressure relief valve out as well because I wanted to make sure that I could blow and clear through the oilways into this uh, chamber as well. And whether or not with the light and uh, the camera we'll pick it up, but the gauze on the end of the oil pressure relief valve seems to be clogged with a sort of combination of like fluff and um, gasket sealant um, such as say well seal or hylomar or something so I'm going to try and clear that somehow if I can because uh, that's not very good but at least I got it out and I found it so I'll clear the oilways next and when I'm happy with those I'll refit the time inside bush assembly and uh, the crankcase itself, the crankcase half, will be ready to go.